The Differences Between Gymnosperm and Angiosperm by Waffiella A. Unum and Kimberly Michaels, UAH Biology Department, Dr. Beckett. Evolutionary Development of the Seed Seeds consist of an embryo already packed within a seed and nutritious tissue surrounded by a protective coat. A seed contains a well-developed multicellular young plant with embryonic root, stem, and leaves already formed, whereas a plant spore is a single cell. A seed contains a food supply. After germination, in which the young plant begins to grow and establish itself as an independent plant, it is nourished by food stored in the seed until it becomes self-sufficient. Because a spore is a single cell, minimal food reserve exists to sustain the plant that develops from a germinating spore. The seed is protected by a multicellular coat. Seeds and spores can survive for extended periods of time at reduced rates of metabolism and then germinate when conditions become favorable. Seeds and seed plants have been intimately connected with the development of human civilization. From prehistoric times, early humans collected and used seeds for food. The food supply stored in seeds contain proteins, oils, carbohydrates, and vitamins that are nourishing for human beings as well as for germinating plants. Because seeds are easy to store, provided they are kept dry, humans could collect seeds during times of plenty and save them for times of need. For fewer other foods can be stored as conveniently and for as long as seeds. The life cycle of gymnosperm. Ovulate, cone, single scale. Megaspore, mother cell. Biotic division, female gametophyte, egg, archegonia, pollen tube, zygote, female gametophyte, cone scale, seed coat, embryo, seeding, mature, sporophyte, and the cycle continues. Gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are seed-bearing plants that lack the combination of specialized features that characterize the flowering plants. The name gymnosperm means naked seed, as kind of like gymnasium. That is that the seeds are not enclosed within fruits. Gymnosperms then are all fruitless seed plants, and they are made up of a heterogeneous group of plants characterized by the production of naked seeds. Estimates from fossil re records indicate the gymnosperms must have evolved approximately 300 million years ago from non-seed producing ancestors of the extinct division of poor pro Gymnosporophyta, which are fern like in appearance. Here are some examples of the four types of gymnosperms viewed on the previous slide. Number one, we have cyads. Number two, a ginkgo leaf. Number three, we have genotypes. 
And number four, we have conifers, which are pine-like trees. And just for a seed producing plants like the gymnosper and can be distinguished from the gymnosper by a series of snapomorphies. This characteristic includes flower endosper within the seeds and the production of fruits that contain the seeds. Etymologically, angiosper means a plant that produces seeds within an enclosure. They have folding plants, although more commonly referred to as flowering plants. This chart is explaining the life cycle. On this slide, this is um, the life cycle of the angel spur. Angel spur derived characteristics are flowers, stamens, the male gametophytes, the closed copper, the reduced female gametophytes, and the endosperm. The flowers are reproductive organs of flowering plants. They are the most remar remarkable feature distinguishing them from the other seed plants. Flowers aid angiosperm by en enabling a wider range of adaptations ability and broadening the ecologic niches of them. The statement much larger than the corresponding organs of genosperms, they have contributed to the diversification of angiosperm through time with adaptations to specialized pollinization syndromes such as particular pollinator. The male gametophyte is angiosperm is significantly reduced in size compared to those of gymnosper seed plants. The closed carpet of angiosperm also allow adaptations to specialized pollinization syndromes and controls. The reduced female gam gametophyte, like the reduced Male gametophyte may be an adaptation allowing for more rapid seed set, eventually leading to such flowering plants and adaptations such annual herbaceous life cycle, allowing the flowering plants to fill more niches. Endosperm formation begins after fertilization and before the first division of the zygote. And the sperm is highly nutritive tissue that can provide food for the developing embryo, the cordyladon, and sometimes the seedling when it first appears. In conclusion, the andriosperms sperms are seed bearing plants whose seeds are contained in an ovary inside a fruit. The gymnosperms are those seeds are exposed and not enclosed in an oval. The angiosperms are those plants that have a triploid tissue while the gymnosperms have a haploid. The leaves of the angiosperms are flat, while those of the gymnosperms are cone-bearing or needle-like. The gymnosperms are known as softwood, as they have the ability to last during the winter, while angiosperms are known as hardwood and usually change color during the winter and die. That concludes our our presentation on angiosperms and gymnosperms. Thank you for listening. Say goodbye, Raffaella. Goodbye. <laughs>